Hello, my dear friends. Uh, I'm out on my back porch, and uh, it was about three weeks ago, a little bit, maybe a little bit more uh, ago, that I started uh, the two, these are the two little shoebox uh, worm bins. I mean, you can see how small they are. You know, it's probably uh, a five by 13, 14, something like that. Enough for women's shoes. And uh, this was the first one I started, and you can see I added the, the holes were quite high. And then this one, the holes were lower, which was, actually, I think this was the first one, which was kind of my mistake. And then um, I used to have um, screening in it, and uh, then I went back through and I added a real fine nylon mesh. Anyway, um, this is the one that I started, and it had uh, strictly uh, shredded cardboard in it. Unfortunately, it was that cardboard from uh, cereal boxes and different things. It's glossy on one side, and it seems like it takes forever to break down. I won't add that anymore. Um, but that was all I had added, that and some coffee grounds and uh, eggshell, etc. The things we normally set it up with. And this was my experiment. This was the one that I had the packing peanuts in. And I have to say, those packing peanuts, if you Google it, you'll find that they are um, supposed to be a cellulose or a corn uh, syrup uh, base. And I guess when they're heated is when they pop. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and so I wanted to show you, this has been three weeks now, and you know what size a, a packing peanut is. You know that they're much larger than this, but they don't seem to break down all that quickly. You can see that that's, you know, it usually has that wiggle to it, and it's it's normally at least about an inch and a half. So it really did come down to maybe one-tenth of its size, and uh, I actually only saw one worm uh, on one of these and it looked like it was really really working it but uh, but other than that n not so much so I already went through here and I pulled out I had approximately 50 worms in each side I'll, sh I'll turn it over and show you you can see there that little worm ball there and over here this was this little worm ball I just wanted to see if they would even eat the packing peanuts or or whatever. I'm not I'm not finding. I mean, I'm still finding them in here. So you can you can see the remnants of it like that, and they still feel a little bit spongy. You know, a normal packing peanuts pretty hard. You you can feel if you really squeeze it, you have a little bit of give. But once they get wet. They do have some uh, some more give to them. So uh, I'm going back to the old regulars, and I'm going to um, now, and, and the reason I did the fork was because the packing peanuts, when I added those into it, uh, it came up to, it was probably up above the uh, this line, the nylon, but you couldn't see it because I have the, the holes are in different positions. So what I did is I stuck a fork in here so you could see that this one goes down, or it only comes up really to almost the top of the tines. So it has gone much further down. And then this one that had more of the uh, uh, packing in it, uh, cardboard packing, you can see it comes right up to its neck. So probably oh, a half, maybe three quarters of an inch more on this side that stayed solid than this side that really went down and if if you want to count it as a good inch or so. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to make, you know, the purpose of this is for me to get more uh, worm castings. I don't care how it's done, but I don't care if they I don't care if they hire worms on their own and bring them in. So we're going to take each of these. We're going to do the same thing on each side. I just want to see if they'll eventually eat these peanuts. 
and they are a packing peanut it's not a, an edible peanut uh, it's you know we use it for shipping for anybody who uh, thinks that I'm talking about a food source although it is made out of a corn syrup so I'm guessing that it would have been something like that and I'm going to um, I'm not going to give them any more bedding because gosh that was you know and I've got coffee grounds and I'm not going to be able to do it this way one handed but I'm going to try yeah, that looks like about half I didn't weigh it out or anything like that this isn't that much of a science project it's just will it work or won't it work and I've got half of my I've got my fruit here. Let me separate that a little bit more and make sure that can it hold. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of this was frozen and kind of yucky. Kind of half the fruit on that side and half the fruit over here. Yeah, that looks pretty good, pretty even. You ever notice that the uh, worms will uh, come along, and boy, they'll come up here and they will eat all the juicy fruit, and and they're so happy. And what do they leave behind? They leave the greens behind. There, we did that, and we have this is a combination of eggshells and shrimp shells that have been uh, baked actually at about 350 for 10, 12 minutes, really dried out. And um, I'm gonna do a little half here, and maybe half here. And another little bit here. And another little bit here. And one more time here. And one more there. That looks like about half and half. What do you think? About half and half? Everybody happy with half and half? Okay. I am going to put these peanuts back on. It's kind of like giving the dog a pill. You know, you keep moving it in front of them and they don't notice eventually. And we're going to put the worms back on there. You see those little guys go, whoa, help me, help me. You tap that back in. One more guy. He want, doesn't want to, doesn't want to follow his friends. But he's going to. Let's see if we can coax these guys back on. There they go. Move along, little guys. Actually, I, I, I'm not sure I notice it, but I guess they do look about as pink. I was going to say, I'm not sure these guys are as, as good looking as these guys, but, you know, which is the healthier food, the um, corn or, or otherwise. And I think they will probably just find their way down. And I'm going to cover them up just a little bit. Not much. And today is Earth Day, by the way. Happy Earth Day, everyone. Happy, happy Earth Day, Earth, Mother Earth. Just think if we could get a million people to start keeping worms. How about a billion people to start keeping worms? I wonder what the statistics are. I wonder how many people we have doing this now. When I started back in 2009, and I mentioned raising worms, people just took a, took a step back. Um, I had uh, very close friends who said, oh, I, I, I don't think I can come to your house anymore. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, all right. I think they were worried I was going to serve them a worm sandwich. 
they did. They ended up coming and they ended up laughing at their own um, selves that uh, they were so worried that the worms were going to uh, lift the bin, um, jump on them and sleep in their bed, etc., etc. You know, all the, the silly stuff that we, uh, we think of when we don't know the truth. We panic and and I'm just going to wet that cardboard down just a little bit. This is, this is nicely nicely moist. I mean, for, for three weeks, not going in there. That was, I was surprised. And that was just some corrugated cardboard. I did see a few little bugs, I have to admit. I saw a few of those little, uh, little gnat, uh, fruit, fraught, fruit fly type little characters. So we started this uh, April 13th, I'm saying three weeks, it really hasn't been that long, has it? Maybe it's a little bit before that, I'd have to look back, I think maybe a little less time than that. And of course I'm going to remove the forks, I just wanted to see, to give you some sort of point of reference that this one, even though it had more volume to start out with, those peanuts just sunk and disintegrated, and this was the more solid one. And so, you know, we'll put our lids back on, and I'm going to have to mark that this is the packing only, and that, um, or, sorry, this was the bedding only, and that this was the peanuts, packing peanuts and bedding. So, uh, that's it for today. I hope you guys will have a great day, and that you will come back and see me again soon, because garden what you've got is going to be here. Take care now. Bye-bye.